you guys, it's Jessica at expressionsvinyl.com and today I want to show you how to use the offset feature. Um, offset feature is fun because you can layer different vinyls to make fun projects like this. Give them a little more dimension. So first I'm going to show you how to do it with the Silhouette Cameo and then I'm going to show you how to do it with the Cricut. So let's get started with the Silhouette. So we are going to go over here into our program and I am using the business edition, but that totally doesn't matter with the offset. You can use any um, edition that you have. So we're going to go over here to our text and click that. And then we're going to write my name. And then we're going to pick a font. And the one I used is Magnolia Sky because it's my favorite. Let me find it here. There she is. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now we've clicked on that and we can either go up here to this little button that says open the offset window or we can go down here and right click with our mouse and click on offset. And either one is gonna open up our offset window. And now right here with the distance, we can either make it really big or we can make it really small. So, or you can actually go over here and type it in. So let's see what that looks like. I like that. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, have a little more edge to it. And then you can click corner or rounded for your edges and then click apply. And there it is. So you can see you have two layers now. And before I separate them out, I am going to make myself a quick weeding box around both. Okay, and now I'm gonna put in my colors. So for the first layer, I wanna use a coral vinyl. And then the back layer, if you click on it, it's kind of tricky. You can put in your, I'm gonna use gold. So I'll put in that one that's closest. Now, if I click over everything and copy and paste, make me two of them. And one, I'm going to delete out the coral. And the next one, I'm going to delete out the gold. Oops, undo. I'm going to delete out the gold. And now I'm going to drag one off my mat, cut out the gold on my machine, and then drag that off the mat, put my coral one back on the mat, and cut that out. So I will go back over to our machine and show you how we did that. So we've got our little pieces cut out. This one I used the coral in uh, Expressions Vinyl Series 51. It's a permanent adhesive. And this is our gold in the Series 31. It's a removable adhesive. And where we're putting it on a notebook, you can layer those together for a fun project. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do it in the Cricut software. So we'll go over to that. Okay, we've got our Cricut software opened and I've got my layers here. I'm gonna show you how I made. So click on the text box and add text and we're just gonna do a simple J. Now with the Cricut, it's a little tricky. Now there's only a few fonts in the Cricut software that have the offset built in. So let's go to edit. And this one, it's the Cricut font and basic shapes. It's a free one that's in the program it will do it for you. So let me show you how to unlock that. If you click on layers and right here, um, we want our purple layer and it's already got this gray background. We just have to be able to see it. So if you click on the eye, it shows up. If you click on it again and it has the slash through it, it's not there. So you just have to unhide that. Now we're gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see both of them. And I also want to do, okay, so now you need to ungroup them. So you can separate them just to see, and I'm gonna undo that. Okay, now I'm gonna make myself a quick weeding box. Just click over on insert shapes and click on the box. And then on the box, we are going to edit and we're gonna unlock it and move it to the back, just so we can see what's going on here. And unlocking it makes it so we can change the shape of it. Okay, 
So now I am going to drag over all of this and I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. So I have two that are exactly the same. And now the reason I'm doing that is because I want to delete out my first guy and you can't see him. So we got to bring him, move forward, move to front. Now we can see him. Okay. Now I want to attach these together. So it will cut my box and the J at the same time. So same thing with this. Um, I gotta find, I gotta delete this background though. Get him out of there. And this is my skinnier top layer. We're gonna drag over that and we're gonna click attach. So then when we do go to cut, um, it, will, it will cut the box around it at the same time. So we'll send these to the Cricut. And the Cricut's nice because you can have your different colors going. Click to, to cut the gray and then it'll automatically be set up to cut the pink. So we will go back over to our machine and show you how we cut those out. We've got these all cut out. Um, this is using the glitter vinyl in coral and also our Series 51 in coral. So they're fun to layer together. They both have a permanent adhesive, so it's great for using on cups because it can withstand temperature changes and a little bit of water. So that is how you can do offset using a Cricut or a Silhouette. Um, you can use it with adhesive vinyl and you can also use it with heat transfer vinyl. Same technique, just make sure you mirror your image when you're using heat transfer vinyl. So we love to read your nice comments. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Leave them down below and we will answer you. Um, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you want more tips and tricks like this. Thanks guys.